Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and it is Thursday. It's time for our weekly faith journal, and I think this is week five, I do believe. We're going to start out, I'm going to show you, well, I'm just going to tell you the scripture, because I wrote a lot of different scriptures down, but the scripture that I'm going to use this week, as I told you last week, we're going to try to go with the love script, some love scripture, since this is right close to Valentine's Day. And the scripture that we're going to use today comes from Matthew 29, verse 39, and it says, part of it says, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That is very hard to do, is it not? Uh, we love ourselves really, really well, but when it comes to loving, loving our neighbor that well, it's uh, kind of hard to do. But we're going to use that scripture today, and we're going to use quite a few different techniques. I've cut out these little wonky houses, and these are just little squares and um, rectangles cut out. Not, not anything perfect, but the wonky houses that are not supposed to be. This is just going to represent our neighborhood. And just do them in whatever color that you want. Uh, as you know, everyone's houses and... Everything is different, so we want to make them as close to that as possible. So we're going to start out with covering our pages with a little gesso. Because who knows what we'll put on here. So we want to make sure that we seal the pages well. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. So just put you a good layer of your gesso down and this will protect your page if you put any other types of sprays or anything like that on there. So we went ahead and put the gesso on our pages and then we dried them and we put our tissue paper or this is deli paper underneath so that I won't make such a big mess hopefully. And now we're going to try to use some Distress Paints, and this one is in Stormy Sky, and this is in Salty Ocean. I'm going to try to use some of these just to make a little bit of background before we put our houses down. That one is very bright. We will use very little of that one. And then this one is Peacock Feathers. Now we're just going to take our baby wipe, whatever I did with it, and we'll just start Kind of mixing that in. And you just do this until you get the color that you want. I think I want a little bit more of Stormy Sky. We're going to need to let that dry before we do anything else up there. So on the, in the meantime, I'm going to put a little on the bottom. It's not going to show very well. This is Evergreen Bow, and this is Pine Needle. I 
think I have another up there that's not quite so green. I might need to grab it. So this one is Twisted Citron. We're going to try to tone down that green on the bottom just a little bit. And just blend it right into your blue, to your sky. That's how your horizon looks. If you look over at the horizon when you can see without houses or buildings in the way. See that the grass looks like it just runs right straight into the sky. Okay. So we can find a cleaner spot and Blend that a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this and see if we can finish up that top a little bit. So I like that. That looks a little bit like a stormy sky. I don't think I'll be adding any more. What I want to do now is just, I have a few little clouds or little light places that look like clouds, but I'm just going to take my baby wipe. And I'm just going to fold it up and then I'm just going to touch a few little places and just kind of bring that. And that was a little bit much. Just kind of bring a little bit of light out so that it'll look like clouds. I think I'll put a little bit back there because I don't really like that being that light. And I'm just going to use my finger and mush it around. Okay, that works for me. We're not going for perfect. We're just going for something that pleases us. We have that dry, and now what we're going to do is, I think I want to write my scripture just right in the clouds. I think that's the way I want to do this. And I am not an artist, I and I cannot write very well. I worked for lawyers and doctors too many years, but we will do our best. So I think I'm just going to write it across the clouds like that. And since this is part of a verse, we're going to start off with some dots. Because this is the ending of that verse. Okay, and that is Matthew. Twenty two thirty nine. All right, so that works. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to put down here in the bottom the date. Today is two. My initials. Someone said I needed to be putting that date there so when my kids or whatever look back on it years from now that they will know when I did this. Alright, so I like that. That's our base part. And now we're going to put our little houses on. And all I did on these, like I said, is I cut me some little templates, just some little squares and 
uh, rectangles and triangles and different things. And I just then just took some scrap paper. I went into my scrap paper stash and I just took different pieces of scrap paper and that's what I'm going with. This is a good way to use up your scrap paper and to make things really, really pretty as well. So we're going to use our collage podge to put these down. And I'm just going to put some on the back because I don't want to put it directly on the page because this being water-based ink, it will reactivate it. So we want to be very careful about that. And I've got way too much glue there, but I think it'll work. Okay, bring them up a little bit from the bottom. And then for our roof, we're going to do this. And let them run off the edge of the paper. You know, that's that's looks natural when you do that. Okay, then I think we'll do this one. Let's see if I put that down, what happens. Oh, I think that works. We'll just put it down on there. So we're gonna put this one, and I want to put it right. Well, I don't think I want to put it right up against that one. I'm going to put it over this way just a little bit. It's going to be a tiny little house. Like the house I grew up in. And don't worry if they're starting to try to come up just a little bit right now. That's not a problem. We will put another coat of this on the top to seal them down when we get finished. So that is not an issue. Boy, I am really heavy handed with this Fodge Podge today, I'm telling you. I think I want everything to stick well. But it will dry clear, so that's the good part. Okay, put that down there. And then let's make sure we got a little bit over here for this one. Don't cover up our date. I'll leave that one in just a little. And all this is doing is just sealing everything in. It is sealing that glue in. Uh, not glue, I'm sorry. It's sealing the paint in. Um, it's sealing all of this. I think I need to put this up there. Sealing everything in so that nothing bleeds off or comes off later on. Okay, put our little roofs on there. And I think I did this one. No, I did this one for that. I have no idea. No, I did this one for that one and then this one for that one like that. Okay. And we're going to have to stay down. There we go. Let's put a little more on there. A little more. Like my lips. There. See how it just makes everything stick down if you go over that really well. Put that on the top.
I love these little wonky houses. I think they are so cute. I've watched a lot of mixed media tutorials on ladies doing these. Of course, I can't hold a light to them, but I just think they're so cute. And I know there's a stamp out there somewhere that actually does these. Okay, so I need to stop there. Alright, that has got everything covered. I cut some little smokestacks out to put on these. And I know that looks like an arrow right now, but I promise it'll be. It'll Maybe it'll look like a smokestack when I finish. We can always pretend, can't we? <laughs> oh, somebody was laughing at me, or not laughing at me, but um, saying that I was just so funny because I was always talking about we can pretend. And but that's true. We can we can. I tell my grandkids you can pretend that it's ice cream, even though it's broccoli. Of course, that didn't go over very well with them. Okay. We're going to put these down, and then we'll color these a little bit later. I'm going to try not to hit that marker too much. Because my brush is a little bit wet, and so it will make that bleed. And then this little smokestack over here. on there and I just use some white scrap cardstock to do this not anything fancy at all okay and I don't think I'm gonna put one on those because I have another plan for those so we will see what else we need to do. I want to put some doors on the houses and some windows. So I'm not sure how I want to do that. I don't know if I just want to draw them on there. I think I want to cut them out. So I'm just going to use the scrap paper that I have. And I'm going to cut some little doors and windows out. Now you can cut these in different colors if you want. I'm just going to cut them out of this and then I'll probably color them up. Not a, not a big deal to me. And just cut different sizes. Since you have different size little houses. And, and if you can cut straight, which I can't cut straight, but if you cut somewhere near straight, it makes it work too. But don't worry about it if it's not, because like I said, this is supposed to be wonky. It's supposed to be wonky houses. It represents, to me, and this just came to me when I was trying to think of what I needed to do today for our faith journal. And this just came to me as we're all so different you know we're every one of us has different personalities different things that make us happy different things that make us sad and but yet you know we all come from the same person who made us in the very beginning we all have our basic features but yet Inside, we're all so different. Okay, I'm just trying to cut out a few little windows. So, as we're all different, we're going to make our little houses all different. I think that's, I think that will work. And how hard is it to love someone who is different than you? Someone who has a personality that you really don't click with. It's 
kind of hard, but that's what we're supposed to do anyway. And I try to look at it as, you know, I mean, I don't do a very good job at it. I, I can't claim that I'm wonderful at that. But I try to look at it as, you know, even if people have bad days and have things that bring them down, so do I, you know. And maybe the day that they're really ill or, you know, unlovable, maybe that's the day that they need to be loved the most. I went ahead and took my micron marker and went around everything with the black. And then what I want to do is I want to color in my windows with my Copic. And this is Y02 Canary Yellow, but I'm going to have to be very, very careful and not touch where I colored in with that black because it will make it bleed. So I'm just going to give a hint of some light in there. It's not going to come right up to the edge because I don't want to make that black bleed. I did that on that first one there, so definitely don't want to do that. I think that will work. That gives you the impression that there is light inside the house. And then we need to do something to our doors. And I think I'm just going to color those. And then I may put something on them. I may put some designs or something on them. And this is a Faber-Castell uh, Pit Artist Pen. I love these pens. They are permanent ink once they dry. But until they dry, you can move the ink around a little bit. So if you need to do your shading or whatever, you can do it with these. So I'm using this pen not only for my doors, but I'm also going to go around the edges just a little bit and put in a little bit of shading just to make the houses look a little bit deeper, make them look like they actually belong on the page and they blend with the page better. And you just put a little bit down and then take your finger and just smudge it. That will put just the right amount on there. You don't need a lot. It just needs to have a little bit of depth to the page. It makes them look more blended, I think. And then I also run a little bit under here because, you know, you usually have a little bit of shading under your the uh, overhang of your house. So we'll put a little there. And I think that might be it. I went ahead and colored the top up here as well, these little smokestacks. I went ahead and colored those. I want to color under my doors. It's not like my threshold there. So I took my Martha Stewart punch and I've just used some of the scrap paper that I used on the houses and I have just punched out a few little butterflies that I'm going to put around different places. Make it look a little bit more homey. I'm going to take my .01 micron pen and go around the some of the butterflies. I may not go around all of them. It's kind of hot right now. I dried the page really well. So let's see where I want to start. So 
see how that just kind of makes that little butterfly pop. So we'll try to do that to a few of them. But here again, make sure that your page is dry. That all of your Mod Podge and everything is good and dry or you will mess up your, your markers, your pens. They don't like glue in them. So I've gone around my butterflies and re guys remember the YouTube teaser will be over in probably a couple of hours and I think there's only five, four or five bundles of those flowers left so go over and grab yours before they so are So we all have gone. our little houses all decorated and all of the colors on there. We have our outlines done on everything and I think that may be all that I do. I think I might go around this heart just to make it kind of pop and I think I will be finished. We'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.